Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today I'm going to be doing a super ultra cute design using the Halloween mystery box, Halloween mystery bag, and October mystery box from Varnail. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. As you know, I am a proud brand ambassador with Farnail, so if you like any of the items in this video, go ahead to the description box and click on my ambassador link, as well as use my 25% discount code ismsbyjosie. It'll definitely help me out and I greatly appreciate your support. So for today's design, I wanted to use um, this other stamping plate that came in the mystery box. So I am using my neon green pot gel and I'll be using again this um, chocolate stamping gel. And here we have um, plate Y203. This one has, uh, the other one had spider webs. This one has so many images. I liked um, seeing this in the box because it's not limited to uh, a specific theme I mean well yeah not limited to a specific theme because um, there's so many different images obviously the theme is Halloween but um, you can use so many different images from here and make uh, so many different designs so I am going to be doing a house on a hill scene I think that's kind of been my thing lately. I've been watching some horror movies, so I'm going to pick this mansion here. I did kind of um, pause the recording after I picked up the stamp, nice and clean, and then I didn't unpause it when I um, put the image on the nail, unfortunately. So luckily I have a few more images that I'm going to do this process to so um, you can get the gist of how I do my stamping. These are gel polishes obviously. I'm used to doing um, using stamping plates with lacquer stamping polish uh, which dries very quickly. So. Um, I always have to work fast, but with gel, it's completely different. I think the pickup is a little different. The put down is a little different. I keep forgetting that. So with gels, you don't want to squish the uh, image onto the nail because it'll smear the gel um, with lacquer. It dries. So whatever is already on your stamper is more likely what you're going to get when you put it on the nail. However, you put it on the nail. With gel polishes, you have to roll it. Um, picking up is fairly the same thing. You always want to roll it. Um, and then, but placing the stamp on um, for gels, you want to roll it as opposed to smushing it. And I just keep doing it. Because um, I forget, I'm not used to, I'm not used to the uh, stamping gel polish. But yeah, just picking up some random images. I've got the moon. I've got uh, a witch on a broom. And then this one here is just a couple of tombstones. And um, that's going to be it for my scene. Very quirky, cutesy, because this is more like cartoony images than supposed to be like real dreary realistic images and um, it's kind of simple but it's not because as we all know stamping is not an easy task for me putting images together is not an easy task but it's easier today because um, when you have Halloween in mind of course it's easy to select images and put them together I'm just using my no wipe top coat to finish this off, seal everything in, um, but yeah, this was fairly, 
fairly quick and easy design in theory uh, if you got the stamping down pat stamping is going to take a bit to get used to but I always say once you get the hang of it it's always fun so here's the end result you guys got my haunted mansion I have a ton of bats flying around the moon the witch on the broom and I have my tombstones down at the foot of the hill because that's what happens but comment below let me know what you think so thank you so much for watching this is isms by josie please share like and subscribe for future videos and i'll see you again next time thanks bye